Hey everybody, thought I'd show you how the garden's doing today. It's uh, Sunday, July the 21st. We have uh, string up our tomatoes that are here in what I affectionately call the mint patch. <laughs> There's some self-watering buckets back here that I made last year. One, two, and I can even see. Three, you can kind of see the orange down there. But these tomatoes are doing really well. There's one over here. This is uh, cherry tomato patches, except for this one, which is uh, not a cherry tomato. And I can't remember the name of it right now, but uh, they're doing pretty well. This is a sweet 100. And here's a blonde coffin. And another sweet 100 over here. We had to tie them up, and I like to use old t-shirts torn up. To make the string because it's soft. These are cotton t-shirts. They're old. They had uh, holes in them and everything else. Instead of throwing them away, we made some ties out of them. Here's my chocolate mint going crazy. And uh, the white datura moonflower blooming last night. He opened up. It's still cloudy today, so he's still open. Just a little. But they're doing great. Uh, we made a few changes to the chicken yard. The chickens are out here. Um, one of our dogs actually ran away, or he, he got out of the pen, I don't want to say he ran away, he got out of the pen and we never could find him, to tell you the truth. We think somebody might have picked him up or something. So this side, which was the dog yard, did some tree trimming there. Um, now we've opened it up so that the chickens can come across from their yard into there. And that gives them more room, which is nice. And the other dog we had, we brought in the house, so... I got Alan out in the garden. He's picking green beans, and we're going to go out and see what's going on. Our, our lettuce over here in the yard is still doing good. It's bolting to make seed, and so we're anxiously awaiting the seed. And I like to grow some things from seeds that we collect ourselves. So we'll come out here and see what's going on. This is the field next to us. It's actually pretty, for July, it's pretty good. It's in the low 80s. I think it's 82 or 83. Humidity is about 40%. There's Alan working inside the little hoop to cut all the green beans. I was just out here earlier picking off some leaves and stuff off these squashes because the squash beetles keep laying their little eggs. And I keep killing them, pick them off and kill them. And then I pick off the leaves and just... Uh, Actually, I feed them to the chickens, and so far that seems to work, so it's a lot of work on this square foot garden that we got to do. We have a white cucumber growing here in the middle, and there's a white cucumber here we just got. Yeah, it's pretty nice. See, these are the t-shirt threads that I'm telling you about, and uh, over here we have these two tomatoes right here that are pretty good size. They're putting a lot of stress on that, that branch, so I tied it up there. Uh, to hold the weight. And these are my tiger melon vines growing up on the inside here. And there's tiny, tiny little melons on. It's hard to see them yet. So we'll come around here. This is a tiny Tim. He's out here in the patch. He's really still small. Here's his, uh, this is, there's the bottom of the, the bed and that's as tall as he is, about maybe a foot tall. But he's falling over and coming outside the bed. But you can actually see some of those are starting to ripen up. And actually, we've gotten several off there already. Uh, this is the tomato patch. And let me tell you, having never done square foot gardening before, we watched a lot of videos, thought we knew everything about it. And I tell you, until you do it, you don't know crap, basically. Um, these tomatoes are taken over, which is fine. This whole side is pretty much all tomatoes, um, except for the last square foot here, where we have um, chamomile and basil finally coming out enough to do it. That basil is too much old, and I'll tell you what happened is, the sun does not get to come over here on this side because of the tomato wall. So I've learned that, that uh, the tomatoes are shading out everything on this side. So it's not getting to grow near as fast, but chamomile is blooming. 
I'm happy about that because we left chamomile tea. Uh, this is my Bolivian rainbow pepper here. And uh, it's doing good, except it's not really putting on new, new flowers. And I'm pretty sure that's because it's kind of getting shaded out on this side. Uh, there's some eggplants blooming in here. Let's see if we can find them on here. There's an eggplant there. And there's an eggplant there blooming. And those are Japanese white egg eggplants. And I'm hoping to at least get a few off of there for seeds for next year. Um, more tomatoes. There's some Aunt Ruby's German green tomatoes. And there's big giant beef tomatoes. And, uh, hey, check out this green bean. And this is a green bean. Hey, Alan. That's huge. And the, these are Kentucky pole beans. And that's our first year with those as well. So... Um, with these tomatoes, you just weave these, see how they pop out, just weave them in and out. Be a little bit careful, you know, not like I'm doing, but just weave them in and out of that trellis. They'll get to the top and they're going to probably spill out over the top because this is just, like I said, July. And they'll continue to grow until frost, so um, here's this one here. And uh, let's see, down here we have uh, marigolds, and they actually say you could put... Uh, two on each side, but gosh, you know, those marigolds just take up a whole lot of room. Peppercini peppers. I actually have a small little pepper right there, blue on there, so hopefully I'll get some of those. There again on this side that is shaded. Oh, my tasty purple. Okay, here we go. It's called a tasty purple bell pepper. Something has eaten a hole in there. Oh, that's not, not too good. And here, maybe the culprit. Can you see him? Right there, that is a squash beetle. Oh, I mean cucumber beetle. Yellow with black spots. And the best work on those is this. Oh, he just flew. Dang you. Well, he took off before I could smush him, but I was gonna smush him. <laughs> um, anyway, there's other um, bells in here. Here's a purple one that's starting in there too. But the marigolds are doing great. And then we come over here. And that's the tomatoes. All those tomatoes are planted in there. And uh, they're just turning out to be like a tomato jungle. And uh, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Next year we're not going to do it this way. We're going to plan something different. But I'm sure there's a ton of tomatoes. And if you look, you see that there's these big tomatoes in there. But we're still waiting on them. There's a lot in there to, uh, to ripen. We do have one, one big one right over here. See him down in there? It's pretty good size that he's ripening up good. And then on this side is the green beans. This is the Kentucky pole beans. We planted them in just one square. Uh, we planted them like they said. And uh, there are too many in that square. Just way too many in that square. They've taken over that square and, um, and they're up on the trellis. Bye, baby. Oh, wolf spider. Well, he's probably eating the beetles and stuff in there. Here's another eggplant right down here. And uh, zucchini in here. Zucchini. Um, ah, let's show you some, some squash beetle eggs right here. Oh, no, larvae. Okay, let's do this. Look right in here. Now these are already hatched. So these get to go right up to the chickens. But here's a kale, the cabbage moth keeps laying her eggs on there and those worms are all over it again. I hate to use seven, but uh, I can't just keep coming picking them out and they keep eating all my kale. Um, here's Alan's little basket of goodies today. And uh, it's growing well. There's some nice uh, banana peppers in here that kind of hard to see. Look there. Oh, nice. That's a dragon's tongue bean. That's yeah, nice. Yay. Yeah. So, here's our peach tree. And our, our radishes are gone to seed, which is great. I'm getting ready to pull those out and let them dry because I do believe I've got plenty of seed. And our lettuce is seeding as well. Let's go take these up to the chickens. Here we go. Good 
Do, 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 do. It's been super hot. Today is the first day that it hasn't been overly hot. Um, it's still humid. Chick, 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 chick. Wait till they see the boat. Here, what else can we show you today? There's way over there in the garden. Let's run up front while we're. I do have a squash plant. These came up volunteer. We threw out some old squashes to the uh, chickens last year, and they came up this year. Here's another one on this side, and they're the, actually the ornamental ones. They're uh, half green, half yellow. Uh, here I can tell you a story about getting new plants making sure they're watered throughout the first year in the summer. This one's over here on the side where it gets forgotten. And uh, you can tell there's hardly any leaves left. And uh, I don't know if it'll come out or not. It may have, may have done too much damage. Uh, over here's my Jerusalem artichokes. And uh, they're growing well. This is a sunny side. Well, I'd say it's, it's somewhat sunny over here. Uh, it's sunny in the morning and it's sunny in the afternoon. Um, but then during the, the middle part of the day, it's actually shaded. So I didn't really put those in a good spot, I'd say. Uh, but I'm not going to move them. I'm just going to let them do what they do. Here's some more over here at this corner. I kind of put them on the corner so that they get watered whenever I forget about them. Uh, green castor beans, red castor beans. Um, these just came up volunteer. Roses. See, here's our plum tree. This is a red plum. We got him on clearance. We're just babying him to keep him alive and get through this year, and I think he'll do fine. This is another one we got. He's green, and he's got a lot of green growth on him, so I think he's going to be fine. And then here is a, another red castor bean here, which is this is how big they should be for right now. Um, so he's doing pretty good. You can kind of see the scale of how big he is here. Uh, this is my hibiscus. These are hardy hibiscus. And they're pink and red. And actually there's a pink bloom. Get ready to open right there. Uh, this is my... Let's back up so you can see it. Magnolia. Good. Yeah. This is one of those wild pack seeds. Um, we just threw the whole pack right here in this corner. And uh, this is the first year. It's gross. And uh, I see the bees over here and butterflies. So it's worth it to me. But it's great because we just don't do much with it. Here's some seeds, seed pods. I'm just going to let it do what it does. This is what I get to look at every day. And they don't believe anything's wrong with all of that trash over there. And just... It'd be different if they were actually working on it, um, but they're really not. They're always pounding and working on something, but they're never ever fixing it. This is the avocado, doing really good. A banana pepper in here. I just don't know. We'll keep working on him. He hasn't doing much. He's still alive. Um, tiny Tim's. Ooh. Here's one that just whoop was sitting on the on the uh, deck. There's some chives in here. These are garlic chives. Now this tiny tin is taller than the other one. So I got one in the house that I'm actually saving the seeds for with uh, or for whatever. Um, that way nothing cross pollinates it in the house. Um, these are hydrangeas. Little teeny ones. I'd say they're planted in the wrong area too. Hey! 